good and evil. Sometimes the delineation between the two is a sharp line. We're gonna make a difference. I know it doesn't feel like it sometimes, but we are. Sometimes it's a blur. I want to carve something beautiful out of its ugliness. And sometimes the law isn't enough. You're blind, but you see so much. There are other ways to see. When we meet Matt, he's worked in a big law firm and he's left with his best friend, Foggy Nelson. Oh. Let's go. We got to meet the real estate agent in 45. Was that a moan? The paralegal. What was she like? <sighs> Violent. We start at the bottom and, you know, we find some rundown offices. We're never going to be able to keep the lights on waiting on a horde of innocent souls to stumble into our loving arms. At this point, I'd settle for just one. There's an underground terror within the city. And Matt is conflicted by his ability to do something about it. And at night, he begins to go out and take the law into his own hands. This is what you do. You make life difficult for bad men. No offense, but you don't seem to be very good at it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it crossed my mind. As the puzzles start to come together, we understand that there is a man, one man above it all. We don't say his name. I've hurt people. And I'm going to hurt more. With Fisk, it's personal. He wants to break away from his past. The city was a part of me. And I would do anything to make it a better place. Fans will understand Daredevil and Wilson Fisk being a hero and villain. But in this world, those lines are really, really blurred. I'm just trying to make my city a better place. Things are not so black and white. I'll find their solution one way or another. I don't think anybody's ever thought about these characters in this way before. Chains sometimes requires force. It feels complex. The guy in the mask saved my life. It felt really new and really different. What they've done with this show is really, really smart. People have no idea what they have coming. It'll start a war. I'm counting on it. Perhaps this would be easier if you tell me what you've done. I'm not seeking penance for what I've done. I'm asking forgiveness for what I'm about to do.